I'm going to show you how to make a baking mix that is very useful throughout the kitchen. And then we're going to make some items with the baking mix that we've made. Um, I already have everything weighed out. Um, in my standalone mixer, I have 10 cups of flour. Uh, I have two cups of shortening. I have a half a cup of sugar, a third a cup of baking powder, and then I'm gonna need a tablespoon of salt. So in my standalone mixer, I'm gonna take it off here real quick. I'm actually just gonna make a well best I can. Let's, let's use a measuring cup. And then in that well, I'm gonna go ahead and go in with the two cups of shortening. And it's really difficult to measure two cups of shortening. So I actually spent the time to measure two cups of shortening and then I weighed it and it was approximately 13.6 ounces. So if you'd rather weigh your shortening, you can do 13.6 or it is just two cups of shortening. And then in's gonna go my sugar, again, a half cup of sugar and a third cup of baking powder. And then a tablespoon of salt. And that's all the ingredients for this homemade baking mix that you can use to make pancakes, waffles, biscuits. And we're gonna show you making all those. And then finally, I'm gonna make a dish, a very sweet breakfast dish known as a breakfast braid. And it's really yummy. And you can do all that with this baking mix that we're gonna get here. And then I got shortening in this cup, so let me clean it out. All right, and then I'm just gonna use my whisk attachment. And this is gonna go everywhere, so I'm just gonna kind of very slowly get it going. And then I'm just gonna let this mix and get incorporated. On my standalone mixer, I have a chill to keep the flour in from coming out. And then I'm gonna turn this up higher just to really break up that shortening into the mixer. Doesn't take very long, that should be about it. If you're kind of looking for a coarse mixture, you just want that shortening mixed up throughout the flour with the sugar, the salt, the baking powder, and there's the baking mix that we are gonna make a lot of things with. I'm gonna put it in my container and then we'll be back and I'll show you how to make food with it.